it only takes a few minutes to whip up a batch of my favorite chewy pumpkin cookies. We'll start by mixing the pumpkin spiced sugar. Stir together two heaping tablespoons of sugar with two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. Mix together well. Set aside and we'll use this to roll the dough balls in before baking. If you don't have pumpkin pie spice on hand, I'll include a recipe on how to make your own in the description box below. Next, we'll need to brown one stick of unsalted butter. Over medium-high heat, melt the butter until it starts to bubble. Keep stirring until it turns a nice light golden brown. Set aside to cool as we stir up the rest of the ingredients. To a mixing bowl, add one half cup plus two tablespoons of packed brown sugar, one quarter cup granulated sugar, one teaspoon vanilla, one tablespoon of honey. And this is kind of like my secret ingredient. This is what really makes your cookies chewy and taste so good. Next, stir in the browned butter that we melted earlier. And it's okay if it's still just a little bit warm. Browning the butter is just an extra step that really adds a little punch of extra flavor. This recipe makes about a dozen cookies. So if you want to make a big batch, you might just want to double this recipe. Add one third cup of pumpkin puree. If you're using canned pumpkin, all brands are a little different. I'm using organic canned pumpkin in this video, and the texture is just a little thinner than usual. If you're using Libby's, it's a little thicker, so you might want to increase to one half cup of pumpkin puree. You'll see the texture of the finished dough in just a little bit. Next, we'll add two cups of all-purpose flour, and that's about eight and a half ounces. Add a heaping quarter teaspoon salt, and if you're using salted butter, just a level quarter teaspoon. One half teaspoon baking powder. One teaspoon baking soda. And one half teaspoon pumpkin pie spice. You can mix these together by hand, like I'm doing here, or you could make these on a mixer. Just make sure not to overmix the flour. I'll include links in the description for the blending fork and the cute pumpkin dish towels, and a few more of my favorite kitchen items. So this is the texture of the dough you're looking for. Thick, but not dry and crumbly. Line a baking sheet with parchment paper and divide your dough using a cookie scoop into 12 equal cookies. I was able to fit the whole dozen on my baking sheet, but it just depends. You might try baking six at a time until you see how the dough works for you. Completely cover each dough ball in the spiced sugar we made earlier. Barely flatten the top of each dough ball. And this helps with even baking and it ensures they have the nice pretty crackle on top. Make sure your dough balls are evenly placed on the sheet. Pop them into a preheated 350 degree oven and mine baked for about 16 minutes total. Anywhere from 16 to 18 minutes. It just depends on your oven. All ovens are different, so just keep check on the browning and you may have to rotate your sheets halfway through baking. Allow to cool and enjoy. I really think you're gonna like this recipe. 
It's one of my favorites and I'm really happy to share it with you. So if you try making them, please let me know what you think. You can find a link for the full recipe in the description box below, along with links to all of my favorite holiday baking items. Also, if you have any recipe request, or if there's a special recipe you're looking for, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Check out my website at doublestopbakeshop.com and stay tuned for many more fall baking recipes to come. Share these recipes with your friends and family, and please like and subscribe if you love to bake. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.